Yeah, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was a little worried about how I would adjust to uh, playing a full season. It's my first time doing it, so uh, I think I adjusted well. Uh, obviously, the hardest adjustment is, you know, sometimes the city is on lockdown, so we can't really, like, you know, have, like, team bonding, go out to eat, uh, do something fun with the team. But I've been doing well so far, and uh, I've enjoyed myself out here. I think this is my best year professionally, for sure. I found a way to grind every day, try to stay in shape, um, and I think I did a pretty good job. I came here in pretty good shape. With this situation, man, it, it has to be one of my best seasons because there's really nothing else to do except play. Oh, I think it's uh, one of the best organizations I've been around. A lot of good guys that work in the staff, uh, GM, the coaches, everybody, man. I think uh, the program is very family-oriented. A lot of loyal guys here, man. You can, you can just feel it. As soon as I got here, I felt welcome. I felt comfortable with everybody. Uh, it's going to be one of the best programs I've, I've played for in my whole career. Uh, I feel like I've been through a lot in my lifetime. I've been through some stuff in my past, and uh, you know, I always had that chip on my shoulder ever since then. I think I had a lot to prove to somebody, but I'm to a point now where I feel like I don't have to prove anything to anybody else except myself. I have to keep getting better. That's all I want to do. I give a lot of credit to the coaching staff and um, guys giving me confidence to get up to the line and be comfortable. I mean, it's hard for me. That's, that's the weak part of my game, obviously, but I know I get fouled a lot, so I know it's something I had to improve on. And um, like I said, I'm looking forward to getting better and better each day. I mean, I think if people watch uh, me play, it's obviously my outside shooting. 15 to 20 footer consistently I make the defense come out. Um, I'm faster than most bigs, so. You know, I do a good job of getting around bigs right now, but as I get older, I'm gonna lose a little bit of athleticism, so, you know, I gotta be able to stretch the floor. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty dedicated to working on that this summer. You can't really be surprised at the level of competition in Europe, because it's ultimately just not enough, not enough spots in the NBA for a lot of good players, so you gotta approach every, every game the same way, because if not, you know, the next man had the same skill set, if not, a better skill set than you, so it's all about being able to play in defense uh, in Europe. And uh, I think I adjusted well in that, in that side of the game because I think a lot of guys offensively, man, they can they can really get baskets out here. I think the home game against Milan was pretty intense. Uh, previously, before that game, I think we had lost like five, six, or seven in a row, maybe in the Italian league. So I say that was our biggest win because getting over that hump and getting out of that slump was. It was tough, man. It was a tough month for us. And I think uh, getting that big win against Milan gave us a lot of confidence. I think, man, it was very tough to play without the fans. Because I can remember a couple games in here, man, where we really needed them. We, were, we had no energy. And the fans would have picked us up in tough times. One of my best seasons ever. I really wish I got to experience those fans. But uh, I know they're at home watching us and supporting us. So we still thank them for that. Hopefully it gets better next year and uh, fans get back in the arena soon.